Hello everyone. Oh, forgot to comb my hair, sorry. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm going to show you a little treat. It's a computer I built. It's a i7 9700K, has 32 gigs of RAM, has an RTX 2080 from NVIDIA, um, a 650 watt power supply. It's in a generic case that I bought from Altex Electronics. They used to sell their own cases. It has a DVD drive in there, but you can build a system that looks generic and it can be very powerful. So let me show you around the PC. So on the Nikon Z5, this is the back part. I put a, a ring um, from Thermaltake LC or LED fan right here. Uh, this motherboard is a mini ITX. It has Wi-Fi. This is for the keyboard and mouse. 650 watt power supply. So you can see that from the Z5. And then uh, if I show this view from the 6100, as you can see, it's not an interview anymore. It's the review table also. But this is the front part. So you notice the blue lights. I match blue lights on the inside. And you see it's the Altex Pulse. Then if I go to the ZFC, you can see why. So I got a blue light here. Some blue lights from the power supply. And blue lights from the memory. So it's like 16 gigs each and it's 32. It's a mini ITX. I got a huge cooler faster or cooler master fan on it. Here's the uh, NVIDIA GTX 2080. So it's pretty clean. It's an older type. I got a fan right here too. So it stays cool, runs everything. And let's put a zoom on it. Okay, so you get a better shot of what I'm looking at. So the Cooler Master, of course, this is from 650 watt uh, power supply, so I got me a cheaper one, but it does have LED. And if I move this around, there's the GeForce GTX. And I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So, on the 6100, I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see the monitor. All right, that's that's good. And a little bit more. All right, so that's what I'm looking at. And I'll scroll around a little bit, show you what it can do. If I go here, uh, what happened? Boy, something gets messed up. There we go. Now I'll lock it. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I can put the temp on it. I'll show you how cool it's running. So the CPU is yeah, 36 degrees, 34, 35. And then uh, the video card is 28 degrees Celsius. So it's pretty good. Um, yeah. I think 31 is the coolest, 35 is the warmest on the CPU. And um, if I do, let's see. All right, so if you look at it, 32 gigs of RAM, i7 9700K, 3.6 gigahertz, um, Windows 10 Home. It shows me the update and stuff. If I do the, let's see, what is it? System? Let's go to the system. See if it's still there. 
Right system. Let's go to device manager. All right. So if you take a look, it has USB 3, it has the 3.1 or 3.2. No, it's the 3.1. It shows you a lot of stuff storage controllers, sound. Um, let's see, the processor is what you're probably worried about. So 9700K. As a six and six, I believe, six cores, six, or is it eight cores? Yeah, eight cores, eight threads, and display adapter, the RTX 2080. I have a DVD ROM on here, or play DVD, CD, ROM. Um, as Bluetooth, so it, it's pretty decent computer and I'm going to show you um, a little bit about uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider I think it's uploaded I'm not sure so I'll go up to play now I'm using the monitor for the sound yep it came on and if I go to options, if I go to display and graphics, and run benchmark, now you just watch the uh, benchmark. Well, I drink my coffee. Sorry about that. Oh, I got three videos to do today.
So you see, this computer averages 111 FPS. It's an excellent computer, just with an RTX 2080. It's not in a 3 or 3000 series. Let me just close this. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it was at 4K. So that was at 4K. And if I go on here, all settings, I just want to show you this. Update security. Look at that. This PC doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11. And if you do uh, check PC health, I don't, I think I already downloaded it, but I'll do it again. Open file. Install. Finish. If I close all that, sign in, check now. So I have to enable a TPM2. And that's the only thing wrong with this. Everything else is in the green. So I need a TPM2 card or enable it. And I would have to go into the BIOS to do that. Yeah, so I'll have to look in the box to see if it has it. But anyway, close it up. I'll shut it down. There you go. So he has stopped spinning. If I uh, turn it on, you see the lights come on, but I have it turned off since it's green. I did have green lights in here, but since the front of the case had blue light, well, no, that's the monitor, I'm sorry. And that's the back. But anyway, I move the monitor, and there you go. So it loads real quick, and if I do a task monitor, I'll tell you how fast it loads. Let's see, what is it? Is it this? No, no. It's this. Manager startup. It loaded up in 7.6 seconds after I turned it on, folks. That's amazing. Pass computer. I'll shut it down again. Now, what I like about these cases, and I'll do it this one, is that. Uh, they're ATX style. Just put this in. Yeah, get it right. There we go. And then toolless. Just snap down, and there's the case. You can't beat that. 
So it looks like a generic case. And here's a, a close up. So you can see it's excellent. Runs everything. 32 gigs of RAM. Right there is my Wi Fi. So uh, if you like this video, let me know. Uh, please leave a comment. Give me a like. Subscribe, I mean. And then, uh, as always, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Bye.